Tampa Bay, 27, New Orleans, 17. So long, everybody.
Not a pretty sight. The night kicked off its regular season tonight in Charlotte. A new year and mostly a new team. Only six players who played for the night last year are back, and they made a go of it without quarterback Mickey Guidry, whose obligation is to Sacramento of the World League. A historic night of sorts in Charlotte where the expansion rage played its first game ever. 17,000 fans on hand there. First quarter now, Charlotte Scooter Melander to Ryan Bethea. 6-0. It was the rage. The Rage led 13-7 when the Knights struck. Greg Freeman got things moving. The Knight was threatening to put some points up on the board. The next play, Freeman to Elliott Searcy. A nice catch for the touchdown. 14-13, New Orleans was out in front, but watch out for Orlando. Melander to Bethea. This one covered 47 yards, almost the length of the entire field. 20-14, the Rage led at the half, and as we said, not a pretty second half. 43-23, the final. The night 0-1, they will look for their first win next week in Tampa. Let's talk baseball. Vacationing, so our Jim Gallagher is here. And these days, we've got football year-round, it seems like. I love it. we got uh, World Leagues wrapping up, arena football, Saints mini. I'm, I'm having a great time with all this football, Rob. We started off with arena football. Now, when Vince Gibson took over as the head coach of the New Orleans night, he promised he'd live up to his nickname, Vegas Vince. Well, tonight, Vince came up snake eyes. The Knight lost their first game of the year, 43-23, to to Charlotte. Now, of course, the best part of arena football is the show within the show, but a lot of trouble in this game. Fireworks going off right there. Scooter Merlander hits Ryan Bethea for the score, but the Knight did come back. Greg Freeman goes to Daryl Tillman, and this game was tied at seven apiece. But the rage of Charlotte just too much for the hometown guys. Les Barley, the touchdown run. And then Knight loses it, 43-23 to the final. The Knight is now 0-1 to start the year. World League, first of all, it's been 10 years since you've been in the sidelines. It's got to be a, pretty much a thrill for you to be back. Well, it's fun. It's uh, a little more the, fun when you win. It wasn't really fun <laughs> last night because uh, we didn't play real well. We thought we would beat Charlotte. And Charlotte uh, had 17,000 people. The game was supposed to start at 7.30. It started after 8. And... Uh, uh, they had a great turnout. It was a great show, and the game was uh, the game wasn't 43-23. It was a close game. They scored on the last play of the game, and uh, but we the game was uh, 20 to 14 at the halftime. They scored with 22 seconds on a long pass uh, in the fourth quarter. That we're down six points. We got them backed up. Uh, they're second down and 13 on right, that two-yard right. line, right. and we get a pass interference call, and then, and then right after that, they throw another long pass, so w it, it was a close game, and we just didn't make the big plays. That's really been the problem, though. The long passes have just been killing you this year, they, haven't they? they? I mean, last night, the, about three big balls again. Yeah, we played really good now against uh, Orlando. Uh, Orlando was a good team, and we played good against them. We did not play very good against this team, and they uh, deserve a lot of the credit, but we just didn't have a real good ball game. That's the thing I don't think a lot of people realize about arena football is it's only a 40, 45 yard field. So when the ball, I mean, a deep, one deep ball and it's all over for you. It's well, not like you got to go deep every time. You can make so many, a, a couple mistakes just can, they, they can capitalize on them so quick you can be out of it. Our guys played hard now. I, I'm not disappointed in their effort. They really played hard and we're going to get a lot better. You know, we don't have our quarterback, Gidry, but Greg Tillman, uh, uh, not Greg Tillman, uh, Tillman, our right. receiver, played real good, too. Uh, Daryl Tillman, he, play, he caught 10 passes for 128 yards, but Greg Freeman did a good job for us. He, we didn't pass protect as well as we can, right. and we didn't run support very good with our secondary. And But we can play a lot better, and, and our guys will improve. It's just uh, uh, it's 12 teams, and six of them got one loss, and... Uh, it's going to be a long season, but we're going to end up being a good football team. Now, you mentioned, a guy, you mentioned a guy we've been talking about a little bit, Mickey Guidry. Now, he'll be coming back to you. Sacramento won again today, so you got to wait another week. But he really we helped you guys. We thought we were going to get him back two weeks ago. He was a big winner for you guys last year. He came in and gave the team a big spark last year. Good so. leader, local guy, you know, and uh, hey, we'll, he's got experience in arena ball down. He'll really help us. But we lost some uh, guys from last year. You know, they had a uh, receiver named Cole Pepper that signed with Tampa Bay and a uh, Receiver named Barney that was the Iron Man of the year. They had an excellent lineman uh, last year that played real well for them, and so that we don't have back. And they had another quarterback, Totten. Right. So we just uh, we don't have many players back from last year, but we've got some good players. They it takes time to get sort of acclimated right, uh, right. into this game. And our coaches, uh, Ken Meyer and, and Ted Heath, had never seen a game, and it's going to be a little uh, tough for us at first. But I think we're going to improve a lot. And I'm really proud of the job our coaches uh, and players are doing. We've got two coaches, Brian Gardner and Walter Hausman, that are 
two young guys that uh, doing a real good job for us, but uh, we just got to keep working, and we're going to get a lot better. Vince, thank you very much. That'll be an excellent ball game. On the road again next week, then you're home. We'll be great Tampa Bay, Tampa and they're Bay. the champions. Defending champions, and of course, next week, 15th, be at home in the Dome. Be at home in the Dome, and boy, this arena football is a super show. It's a good I one. I tell you, the, I, the Charlotte Rays, they put a great show, and all that fireworks and cheerleading and boy they got some but, pretty girls out there too well, you it's gotta great. you gotta like that yeah. it's gonna be nothing like the dome coming up no on the, the dome will be great i'm can't wait to that first game in new orleans vince thank you very much Rock. from it tonight in tampa as the new orleans night went up against the tampa bay storm the night was trying for its first win of the uh, arena football league season the final score was 64 to 60 not much defense from either team the storm scored there jay gruden throws a touchdown pass and they get a little bit of celebration the Storm scored 64 points. The Knights scored 60. Was it college basketball? No. Arena ball. There you see the final. New Orleans now 0-2 on the year. Cooper Dome. The New Orleans Knight will debut at home against the Cleveland Thunderbirds. Now, the Knight are 0-2 on the year, but they've been competitive in both defeats. And now things are looking a little more promising because this week the Knight welcomed back quarterback Mickey Guidry. And they also traded for former Saint defensive lineman Bruce Clark. Now, the much-traveled Clark is a welcome addition to the Knights' defense. Last week, they allowed 64 points, and you can bet Clark will certainly put some punch into the Knights' defense. Now, Guidry is getting a late start this season because he was in the World League playing for the World League champion, Sacramento Surge. Knight fans are just glad to have Mickey back, as last year, he led the Knight to three wins. I, I did come here to play, and uh, if he wants me to play, I'll be ready. I think I'm at the top of my game. Go get him, knock him out football. It's, no, it's not no egos, no anything. It's just football the way we used to do it sand like days when you were growing up. Now, the night hosted the Cleveland Thunderbirds. They'll do it tomorrow in the Superdome. Game time set for 7.30. It's going to be a wild one. With an 0-2 record against the Cleveland Thunderbolts, bent on upstaging the homeboys. Not a bad crowd tonight, but bad news if you were trying to follow... The bouncing ball because Mickey Guidry came off the pines in the second quarter, hit a couple of quick ones, but this one gets loose to Wyatt Harris. The Knights' defense had the ball on the turf right here. Darren Mullenberg with a sack on Cleveland's quarterback, Major Harris. The Knight down it at the one. Then Harris put it down again as Bruce Clark jumps on this one in his first game here. The Knight uh, later scored to trail just 7-6, to six, but they were trailing 23-9 to nine in the fourth quarter. We have an update on that? I don't know, but... Uh, it looks like Cleveland has beaten them 30 to 15. They are 0 and 3 to start the season. Scared many people, and the Thunderdome has been a dud. But tonight, the Knight tried to rectify those situations. The Knight was going for its first win of the year against the Detroit Drive in the Superdome. The Knight looking good early. Mickey Guidry to Elliott Searcy for the touchdown. 7-0. Over 8,000 fans at the Dome, including this man. Not bad at all for a winless team. Guidry then rolled another six. Nice play to Brian Wiggins. Wiggins says, hey, I'm number one. Yep. And then he does his thing. Now, the Knight had a 20-7 lead, but again, the second half did them in. Gilbert Renfro with a long touchdown pass for Detroit. The drive drove the Knight into the ground. 66-41, to the final score. The Knight now zip and five on the year. The things would go slowly at first, but this is getting ridiculous. The night fell to 0-6 Friday night in Albany. Now tonight's Mickey Guidry had a good evening. He rolls out and connects with a diving Brian Wiggins for the score. Then new kicker Teddy Garcia, who was just picked up this week, made a nice debut. He drills the field goal through right there. The night actually led this game 20 to 14, but then the Firebirds soared. Quarterback Tom Poros hits Myron Jefferson, who eats the wall. In all, Porter's threw for nine touchdown passes. The Knight did not score in the second half at all. The Firebird, 67 total points. They beat the Knight 67 to 29 the final. The Knight is focused on the positive. The Knight drew over 14,000 fans for the game last night in the Superdome against Orlando. That's it. There's really nothing else positive to say. The Knight is 0-7 after losing to the Predators. The Knight did take the lead early on, first quarter. Elliot Searcy will take this kickoff in his own end zone. Some nice moves, and 56 yards later, touchdown. The Knight was up 9-3, but that was the last lead they would have. Orlando quarterback Ben Bennett threw four touchdown passes on the Knight. This one goes to Herky Walls and tied it at nine. Then Bennett hit Barry Wagner for the score here. 
at the half, it was 22 to 12. Wagner just barely got the ball across the plane. Night quarterback Mickey Guidry just got married. He skipped his honeymoon, waiting till after the season is over. He may want to go now. The final credit. But uh, they didn't get as many as they hoped, and they also didn't get the result that they were hoping for. I was afraid for. you were going to say that. Yeah, I know. The New Orleans Knight at 0-7 against the 2-5 Charlotte Rage tonight in the Superdome. This game was maybe the best chance for the Knight to get a win this season. The Knight did cut ticket prices by five bucks for the game, but as you see, some fans came out with their versions of the Aints bags. Things look good early on, don't they always? First quarter, Mickey Guidry to Richard Estelle for the touchdown. The Raids still led 7-6. Later, the Raids let the ball go. Brian Wiggins picked it up for the night. People got so excited, they ran in front of the camera. Get out of the way. Touchdown night. New Orleans in the lead, 12-7. But they would go on to squander it one more time. 38-33 the final. Charlotte wins it. The night now 0-8 with one more home game.